What's good everybody, it's your boy B-Tow and you are watching B-Tow TV. First things first, just wanna say, welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button. You know why you're at it, you might as well click the notification bell so that you'll get notified whenever I drop a new video. Okay, so as you all have seen all over social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Popeyes brought the sandwich back. Okay, before this whole vegan thing even started, I was trying to get my hands on that sandwich. You know, the, the Popeyes chicken sandwich. The question is, did I actually get the chicken sandwich? No! No, they don't. Damn, that's what I came here for. Me too. <laughs> I want to tell you, I have no time for this. I have no time, no time, no time. Hurry up. No, I, I didn't get it. So for those of you who think that I missed out, not really because as you can see by the title of this video, I figured it out. And there were two vegan channels that I absolutely love to watch, The Ghetto Vegans and Be For Real. So I decided to take one of their recipes and one of her recipes and put them together. I took Be For Real's vegan Popeye's chicken sandwich and The Ghetto Vegan's slutty vegan sauce. Like when I tell you those flavors together, like blew my mind, like legit. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I took two separate recipes, put them together, and made a great um, vegan, a list of all the ingredients I use and the recipe will be down below in the description box. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Go ahead, like, comment, share this video. I'm loving this new vegan lifestyle and if you're new to veganism, I'm here to make sure that you love it too. Now let's get into that video, man. Okay, so for this chicken sandwich, we're going to be making our own homemade Satan, S-E-I-T-A-N, not Satan. I don't do that. All right, so I used three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And then I used one teaspoon of poultry seasoning. Now you can use any kind of chicken seasoning you want as long as it is vegan. And of course, you know I had to use my onion and garlic powder. Because the thing is, we got to make sure everything tastes good. Vegan life does not have to be bland. So I took one teaspoon of each. Okay, so this next ingredient is one of my favorite seasonings to use. Creole seasoning. All I needed was one teaspoon. Then I added one half teaspoon of sea salt and one half teaspoon of black pepper. Then I used two tablespoons of vegan Worcestershire sauce. Now, believe it or not, if you don't have any, you can easily use barbecue sauce. Then I added two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. This recipe called for unsweetened plant milk. I use almond milk, but you can use cashew. All you'll need is two tablespoons. Here's the brand of veggie broth that I got. Now this recipe calls for a lot of it, so I got two. You're gonna need three fourths of a cup. Now if you're new to my channel, you will now witness my super fast mixing skills. And you have just witnessed the skill. You're welcome. Now here is the star of this seitan recipe, the vital wheat gluten. I used one and a half cup. Now remember my Aunt Evie got me this, it came in handy right away. Now the next step is to combine all of these ingredients together by kneading it with your hands. Now I have no idea where my footage went. I know I recorded it. I don't know where it went. But this is what it will look like after you're done kneading it. I'd say I kneaded it for about five minutes. Now, onto the broth. In a smaller bowl, I combined one tablespoon of poultry seasoning one teaspoon of onion powder and one teaspoon of garlic powder. Now, mix it up, hey, mix it up, hey. All right, then to a pot that's already boiling with four cups of veggie broth, four cups of water and a whole chopped onion. I'm going to add one tablespoon of the vegan Worcestershire sauce. Then I'm going to add the mixture that we just made and mix that in as well. Stir it up real good. All right, now on to the Ghetto Vegans version of the slutty vegan sauce. In a small bowl, you're gonna take one half cup of vegan mayo. 
now for some sweet relish. You're going to use two tablespoons of sweet relish. Now the recipe calls for French dressing, but instead I use Catalina. Now this used to be my mom's favorite salad dressing. You're going to use two tablespoons of the French dressing. One teaspoon of brown sugar. A half teaspoon of paprika. A half teaspoon of onion powder and a half teaspoon of garlic powder. And now the secret to the sauce, the Old Bay seasoning. You're gonna take one teaspoon and throw that in. Now you know what time it is. It's time to put those skills into motion. Let's go. And just like that, you've got a delicious sauce that's inspired by the slutty vegan herself, Pinky Cole. All right, now back to the seitan. We're gonna take our dough and break it into pieces that are the size of a chicken patty. Now they don't have to be perfect because once you put them into the hot boiling broth, they're going to expand. So you're gonna turn this down and let them cook over a medium heat for about 20 minutes. While we wait, we're gonna get our batter mix and our breading together. In a small bowl, you'll need one and one half cup of flour. Now my mom gave me this trick. If you ever are cooking or baking and you have a lot of ingredients going into one bowl and you don't want to forget what you put in there already, she said just put it around the edge of the bowl. So we're going to take one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one half teaspoon of pepper, one half teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one fourth teaspoon of brown sugar, one fourth teaspoon of chipotle chili powder, and then one teaspoon of baking powder. Don't forget to throw in some skills. All right, now we almost done. Don't forget about those chicken patties we made. We're gonna take them out the broth, place them on a paper towel lined tray, place another paper towel on top, and press all the excess water out. They should look like this. While they cool, we're gonna get our wet ingredients together so we can make our batter. All you're gonna need for this is a half cup of your favorite hot sauce, one fourth cup of unsweetened almond milk, and one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Now, if you don't have Dijon mustard, plain mustard will do just fine. Gonna go ahead and give that a real quick mix. Yes, sir, now we are ready to assemble these vegan Popeye's spicy chicken sandwiches. So we have our wet mix, we have our dry mix. Then we have our seitan patties all ready to go. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna dip the patties into the hot sauce mixture, then into the flour mixture, back into the hot sauce mixture, then back into the flour mixture. That's called double coating because we want it to be real crispy and crunchy. You know what I mean? Gotta have that crunch. So I did not get any footage of me frying because I could not hold my phone and fry at the same time. Just not gonna happen. I'm prone to have an accident. Now I used canola oil and my patties ended up looking like this. Now you can go ahead and lie to yourself. Can't nobody tell me that this does not look like chicken. It ain't chicken, but it sure enough looked like it. And the flavor, bruh, look at these sandwiches. Look at that sauce, the sauce, the sauce. Look at it just drip, drip, drip. Man, Popeye's who? Popeye's who? You ain't gotta believe me, just try it for yourself. You got the ingredients, you got the recipe. Your turn. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Yup.